Welcome to Codeignited Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will focus how to install Codeignited framework in your PC. Before working with Codeignator, you must install PHP and related resources of PHP in your PC. And see the steps I have already mentioned in this article how to install Codeignator and what are the basic steps to follow to install Codeignator successfully. As we know that Codeignator is a powerful PHP framework which has MVC architecture where model is one uh, which uh, represents the business logic of your application and view is to uh, simply elevate UI components of your application. Controller is acting as a bridge between both view and model and it simply maintains various actions of your application. You can install Codeignator framework using either of the softwares uh, like Jamp, Lamp, or something you say WAMP, MEMP, whatever they are, even it is apps here. Uh, you can use either of these PHP rendering scripting tools. Uh, using these tools, you can run Codeignator uh, successfully without any uh, deviations. See the steps that I have already mentioned uh, to install Codeignator you just try to follow these steps nothing more than that which is very simple to install Codeignator uh, in your PC without even um, uh, writing any scripts or any commands uh, to install it successfully you just try to follow uh, the first one you need to access Codeignator.com website to download Codeignator first I would like to download Codeignator and see this is the official website of Codeignator. Download Codeignator. Uh, you can download either of these versions, either 3x or 2x, whatever you want. But I prefer uh, Codeignator 3x. I would like to download it. See, this is the link uh, which allows you to download Codeignator. Click here. And now it is started downloading. See the way it is downloading. But I have already Codeignator in my PC so that I used to copy that and see this is my Codeignator software, uh, Codeignator uh, resource, extract it and see this is Codeignator 3.1.0 and there you have resources for your application ok now simply rename this directory if you want to rename it otherwise you no need to rename it but I prefer to rename it and the name is my Codeignator see I would say the name of my Codeignator is my Codeignator and copy this folder go to your PHP root directory. I have installed PHP uh, in my D directory of the system so that I am accessing jump folder it's my jump folder open your jump folder and there you have htdocs folder again you just try to open it uh, if you work with uh, WAMP or something like app server, you can see www root directory. You just try to go to that root directory and place it into the directory itself. And now in this htdocs directory, you just try to paste your folder that you have already copied. And see the folder is my codeignator. Understand? That's it. See, this is very simple to install Codeignator to run Codeignator in your PC without even writing a line of command. Now open browser just type on localhost slash my Codeignator. Understand? See it shows nothing by default. 
there is a narrator for accessing coordinator file the reason is that before you work with local host you must run your jamp control panel See, I used to work with Jam so that I need to start either App Serve, Apache Server, at the same time MySQL, and now see I can easily execute my my directory um, folder of Codeignator and see it is um, one which is presenting Welcome to Codeignator title and see this is uh, the default page of Codeignator. <coughs> which comes from Codeignator folder itself. Watch my next video to learn how to work with Codeignator controllers, views as well as models. Thank you very much. Bye bye.